Let's have an overview of the car. First of all, we're going to introduce the key. The key has three buttons. Use the middle button to lock or unlock the car. Click the upper part of the middle button to open the driver's door. Click the lower part to open the boot. Short click and long press the left button to open the rear left doors. Do the same to close them. Short click and long press the right button to open the rear right doors. Do the same to close them. In addition, we can double click the left and right buttons at the same time to open all the doors, including the boot. Repeat action to close them. Let's move to the steering wheel and the instrument cluster. There are two touchpads. We can use the left touchpad to choose information shown in the left tube of the instrument cluster, such as range status and tire status. Likewise, we can select the information displayed in the right tube with the right touchpad, such as battery status and navigation information. Besides, the left touchpad is used to adjust speed limit and distance when we use adaptive cruise control or autopilot. Behind the steering wheel, we can push the shift paddles on both sides to switch either drive modes or recuperation levels. We need to select either drive mode or recuperation level in the settings. The lever on the left is for turn signals, wipers, and beam lights. The lever on the right has more functions. We can push it to activate ACC and autopilot. In addition, we can use the rotary knob on the right lever to switch gears. Now let's move to the head unit. The home page is navigation and it cannot be changed. There are some icons on the left side of the map for navigation, such as the shortcut or charging stations nearby. We can zoom in and out of the map with two fingers or with the plus and minus icons. The upper bar has some clickable icons such as the profile and battery status. There are some extra shortcuts at the bottom, including the climate feature. We can adjust the temperature directly. Or we can open the climate feature. The vehicle icon on the left brings us to quick controls for doors, windows, seats on the first page. We can also open the charge port. And there are some other vehicle settings such as drive mode, and recuperation on the second page. The button on the very right is the shortcut for menu from where we can access all the features. We can click here to adjust volume or from the steering wheel. Now let's move to the passenger display. The passenger display is devoted to entertainment services. The homepage shows media recommendations from video and podcast apps. There are four menus 
in the right bar. The first one is notifications. The next one is control from where we can adjust volume and brightness, turn on and off screensaver, and turn off the passenger display. We can also connect a game device, a headphone, and a smartphone as remote control. Up next, we have applications. Here we can access all the apps as well as settings, mirroring, and an app store. The last option is the home button.